in the last. Does anybody know these two gentlemen in the room? If you don't, let us know. You shouldn't be here if you don't. It's great to have you guys. Yesterday, I was very proud to nominate Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the United States Supreme Court. She's one of our nation's most brilliant legal minds, and I think she'll do very well. We're moving along very quickly. Uh, tremendous unity in the Republican Party. It's the consequence of winning elections, which we did very substantially, both in the Senate and, obviously, in the White House. And I think we're going to take back the House. I believe that very strongly. Kevin is doing a fantastic job. And I really believe we're going to take back the House. And uh, we're all working very hard on that. Um, we have uh, noticed some comments made in the media about my incredibly qualified nominee, Amy. Uh, the New York Times said her religion is not consistent with American values. She's Catholic. It covers a lot of people. It's a very disgraceful thing to say. Some of the comedians — I don't think they're comedians, because comedians are supposed to be funny. They're not funny, like, at all. They're nasty, they're mean, and they think they're funny. A central issue of the 2018 midterm elections was the Kavanaugh confirmation, and uh, American voters punished the Democrats in the Senate. You saw what happened. We picked up two seats. Again, something that hasn't been reported on very much, but we picked up two seats for their treatment of Justice Kavanaugh and expanded our Senate majority to confirm Supreme Court justices, which was great. And uh, now Democrats are really brazenly attacking Judge Barrett for, again, her faith, mostly is what I'm hearing, for her Catholic faith. And uh, whether it's Dianne Feinstein or anybody else, I think they ought to treat uh, religion with much more respect. I think it's a disgrace that they can do it. Uh, Biden and the Democrats are desperate to distract from the real issues, which is that their party has been taken over by socialists, extremists, and probably communists. I think it's beyond socialism. I think it's a step beyond and could be many steps beyond if you take a look. And uh, that if they win, they will nominate justices who will destroy the American way of life, uh, the American dream. They will destroy the American dream. They'll destroy America. They'll destroy the United States of America. thought, though, on the religious situation with Amy, I thought we settled this uh, 60 years ago with the election of John F. Kennedy. But seriously, they're going after her Catholicism. I will stand with her, fight with her, and we will uh, make sure that these attacks stop because they're really it's unprecedented. They're basically fighting a major religion in our country. This is incredible. Fighting any religion, fighting Catholicism, is just uh, incredible that they can be doing it. Are you Catholic, Rudy? Really? Twenty-nine Supreme Court vacancies have occurred during an election year or before an inauguration. Uh, in every single instance, going back to George Washington, the President has performed his constitutional duty and nominated a justice. And in almost every one of these cases over the past 230 years, where the President and the Senate were the same party, the justice, uh, as you know, that justice was confirmed. Uh, this is about two centuries, more than two centuries of precedent. And I think it'll continue. I think we're going to have uh, I think it's going to go quickly, actually, and I think — and again, I've, I don't know if I've ever seen the Republican Party more unified. I think it was probably even more unified. Yeah, go on the back. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, two questions. Do you have any questions for these two well, gentlemen? That's what I was going to ask Good. both you and Governor Christie and Mayor Giuliani. Your two guests are practicing Catholics. You've talked about possible bias against Judge Barrett's religion. Only two Catholic bishops have come out to say the same thing you have. Is any effort being made by any of you to say, get the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops? I think uh, that, uh, yeah. At least other uh, leaders within the We're in the process of doing that. I think it's horrible what they're doing. I mean, they're playing the religious card, and it's frankly, you're talking about Catholics. That's a very major religion in our country. I don't know. Uh, Chris, do you have anything to say about it? I mean, it's, it's obvious what they're doing. So, you know, she'll be strong. 
she'll be tough and she'll stand up for what she believes in. And she went through just like I did four years ago in terms of litigation of different things. Uh, she went through it before and did very well. Rudy, what do you think? I think the article in the New York Times today reveals a very strong anti-Catholic bias. I mean, it says in the article that Catholicism and the American ethos can't be uh, 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 contradict each other. Well, let me ask what, if, what, what I mean, what is the American ethos? It's their version of it. And that's a horrible thing to say. And then it says that Catholics have difficulty separating public and private morality. I, I, don't, I don't have difficulty separating public and private morality. So what I see is the beginning of a really strong anti-Catholic attack. And having lived through the John Kennedy uh, election, that article today reminded me of the things that used to be written before John Kennedy. Could a Catholic be loyal to the United States? Come on. Well, having said That's that. That's exactly what Feinstein raised right. when she made that awful remark to, uh, to, to, to the judge. Well, let me repeat my question again. Why are only two bishops within the church speaking out, and will you make an effort to get the U.S. Oh, I think they, they'll come out first. Right? This is day one. I mean, we've just started this. This is absolutely day one. And, you know, I mean, they're going to be coming out very strong. Uh, the Catholic Church is very well united on this. They are so thrilled that Amy was chosen. They are so thrilled. Oh, they'll be, you know, again, it's been 24 hours, okay, so it's been a very short period of time. But they're going to come out very strong. 